Now, Zimbabwe's martial arts champion, Sensei Vincent Fambira, is determined to tip the scale of success as he eyes, uh, as he eyes gold at the International Combat Organization World Championship to be held later this year. Uh, towards the end of 2023, the world got to know of a new gem in Zimbabwean martial arts after Vincent Fambira, under the tutelage of Sensei Wilfred Mashaya, shocked the world in England where he scooped five gold medals and two other medals. A product of the first world champion to emerge from Africa, Fambira has impressed his master with exceptional skills and qualities before translating it to the global scale. What I've achieved, I don't want it to end there. He I have also to leave a legacy. I have also to groom other world champions, other people who can make history for themselves. For example, um, Fambira. Fambira, uh, a trained a world champion. Oh, nothing comes easy in life, and that is the inspiration of a go gator Fambira, who is willing to go down any cost to quench the thirst of his dreams. Uh, it wasn't an easy journey. Uh, it was a tough one. It takes uh, a lot of work hard, uh, a sweat for it to happen, to be a world champion. Uh, we used to, and even now, we work very hard, like day in, day out, any space of time that we find you, are, you seem to be free. It's never free. We were working and we are still working. Uh, the ambitious martial artist took an inspiration from watching the legendary Kung Fu actor Bruce Lee and she believes he has what it takes to replicate his childhood idol. My dream is not uh, only to explore, but to drift, to do what uh, some other things that have never been done by other people. But uh, generally, uh, to my side or to my into my my dream, I really want to venture into a film. Uh, so that will be one of the uh, to say prominent or uh, world known uh, actor in the action uh, film uh, category. Uh, the world champion who is now recognized as a sensei in Kobudo believes that England was just the foundation work which he promises to surpass in his next assignment in Germany. Uh, I'm going to Konga. That's my wish. And uh, I, I'm sure I'm going to uh, probably having everything uh, good and in, uh, in good direction. I mean, the finances, uh, the health, God is will, uh, I will conquer. I will, I will promise. Uh, I, I'm promising uh, the nation that I'm going to conquer. And I'm going to bring uh, more than uh, those gold medals that I brought from England. With the International Combat Organization World Championships set for October this year, Fambira can only get better judging from his exploits in his first appearance at the Global Championships in England. With proven credentials in the arena, Fambira looks poised to emulate Lee's footsteps should he receive the valuable support he so desires. Reynaud Nguarati, ZBC News. Well, this is the time that we say Famba, Fambira, Famba. We are supporting him all the way, and uh, I, I do know that he has the greatest support of uh, that sensei, Wilfred Mashaya, and of course, uh, we support our martial arts guys. And, but uh, these are the guys that you do not want to mess with. You cannot afford to mess with any of these guys. Anyway, now let's move on and talk about our regional sport. And we are starting 